Okay, how to set the time on a dive watch. I'm doing this for a couple friends of mine that don't seem to know how to do it. If it's a true dive watch, it's going to have a locking screw down crown. All right, that means you have to unlock it. So you have to turn it typically lefty loosey, righty tighty. All right, so you want to turn that crown towards you to unlock it. All that means is, is that this is threaded here. This has two stops. The first stop is a date change. The full out is the time. This watch also has hacking. So let's go ahead and pull it all the way out. All right, you'll see that the second hand stopped. And you want to rotate this around until it gets to midnight and you see the date change. Right now we're in PM. So we're going to go all the way around. And there's the date change. All right now we know we're in AM. Uh, there's a safety zone here for setting the date. Okay, you want to, it's always safer to have both hour and uh, minute hands underneath the nine and underneath the three when you set your date. And we're going to go ahead and do that. It's, it's, it's just after eight o'clock in the morning here. So I'm going to get it to what the 720 here. I'm going to push this in one click. And now I can set the date. I believe today's the 11th. I think it's the 11th. We're going to set it to the 11th. <laughs> okay so we know it's 810 I pulled it all the way out again you see that the second hand stopped again it has hacking so we go to 810 we're going to push it in the clock is set the date is set now this watch also has winding so at this phase here you can go ahead and wind it 80 to 100 winds will give you, they say 60, but I'm fine in 80. Now these, this is an NH35. You can't overwind this watch. If you give it 60 winds, I usually count 20, 40, 60. Um, you know, in 20 count blocks when I'm winding this thing. So I'm not sitting here counting all the way up to 60 or 80 or whatever, but that's what I'll do. And then when you want to lock this down again, you push it all the way in and you go ahead and tighten. Now, sometimes you'll feel that those threads aren't catching right. And if that's the case, what you want to do is push in on it and turn it towards you until you feel that thread kind of release itself. And then you can start it over and then you can get it to lock. And now your watch is set and it's watertight. Also, any automatic watch, uh, just wearing it throughout the day. By the end of the day, it's at full charge. And this watch in particular with the NH35 movement, it, uh, it's got over 30 hours of power reserve. So if you put it down for a day, day and a half or so, it's still running and keeping accurate time. Um, these are some watches I happen to pick up and I'm putting these on my custom bands that I'm making. But that's it, just how to set your dive watch. All dive watches will be similar. Uh, they may not, if they don't have a date complication, when you pull this out, you still might find or hear a first click for the date complication, which just means they put a movement in that was a little less expensive that has a date complication. For Seiko, I believe it's the NH38 that does not have a date complication, but it costs more money, so they don't put them in. Um, if you have a day-date complication, which means you would see the day of the week as well as the date, when you pull it out to that first stop, turning it one way will adjust the date. Turning it the other way in the same position uh, will change the day. So that's it. Now you know.